You're about to see something unique at this public school campus. This group is going to lead a class on the importance of a healthy lifestyle, but notice anything different about them? Yes, they're all teens. It's part of Upland High School's Hope Academy, a special program focusing on health occupations preparation and education. Working in conjunction with San Antonio Regional Hospital, the older kids not only learn about health, they get insight on various health careers and then share that knowledge with younger students at Upland Junior High School. Imagine that, students teaching students. We want to inspire kids to make small changes to improve their long-term health, but we also want to inspire them for health careers because it's one of the biggest fields over the next 10, 15 years, and they're good paying jobs. Now, let's see if you can guess what could be the toughest part of the project. Does anybody remember the six nutrients that we told you about last time? They said one of the biggest lessons they learned is how hard it is to make students listen when you're trying to talk to them. Yep, talk about an eye-opener, but surprisingly, it works, as one by one, more kids get into the conversation. Do you play sports? Volleyball. Volleyball? Okay, so as a sports athlete, you have to have what in order to build muscle? Protein. Correct. Now, does it seem weird having other students teach instead of your teachers? No, I think it's actually better because like, we kind of know them more and we can interact with them a little bit better. The principal welcomes the chance to introduce his students to the idea of healthy eating and health careers, especially since many of them don't have anything like that in their background. It's not a reality to them if they haven't seen it, they haven't been there, um, they haven't seen people who are actually doing it or living it and what it takes um, and, some, and what the benefits are. Before I started learning about this, I don't think I even ate one gold food a day, <laughs> but, or even for a week. Like. Now, see what else is at play. California lottery funding is but a small percentage of what it takes to fund public education in our state. But here's another example of the value this limited funding can still bring to a campus. We are so grateful for the funding that we get from, you know, from lottery because without that, we wouldn't be able to provide these enhanced opportunities for students. And kids might never know the importance of eating a good breakfast or how much sugar is in the things they're drinking. It stunned me. I didn't know there was that much sugar in, in just drinks we drink every day. They're also exploring the basics of exercise. <laughs> After all the talking and running around, the older kids return to their high school and discuss with their own teachers what they noticed about their students. They're like active, but they're not as like hyper as the seventh graders were and themselves. It's been helping me a lot to just learn everything about the medical pathway and it just gives me a better feel of what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life. So while lottery funding doesn't cover everything, this does help put this modest funding into perspective. It really does help. You can see what it does for the kids. I mean, they're really growing from this opportunity. In Upland, San Bernardino County, Donna Cordova, California Lottery News.